afternoon, ladies and gents. I won't show who's on the mug. Um, you can try and guess by the signature. I'm joking. It's only it's your man. It's it's Oddson. It's been a while since I've spoken about Oddson Edwardy. Um, feel like it's been a long, long time. But good afternoon. Nice to see you, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. I just thought, you know what? Let's go live today. Let's have a bit of a chin wag. Just a wee chat about anything you want. Because there's no really much happening, is there? Like, I know we've had a busy week. The start of the week was hectic. We had all those stories and rumours coming through about every Tom, Dick and Harry under the sun who have been linked with so many different players. But since then, you know, it's not anything new to sort of report on or to give an opinion on because, well, it's been a bit slow and that's expected at this point of the season. It's a nice wee warm-up into getting back into live streaming. You know what I mean? I'm going to be getting back into streaming, hopefully, as we do this full-time starting from next week or so. Um, so, you know, it's a nice warm-up to talk live, to, to, to have some questions, just to have an overall laugh here on a Saturday afternoon. Saturday, how is everybody doing? Nice to see everybody turning up in the chat. James, Jacob, Paul, Josh, Matthew, 900, DM McDonald, everybody saying, all right, nice to see you. I hope you are doing well as well. Thank you all for your kind wishes. Um, we'll get on to, to having a wee chat in a moment. I'll, I'll just open it up with saying Saturday afternoon. What's everybody up to? It's a bit weird, isn't it, having a Saturdays without the football. I know this is the second week in a, in a row now, and the Champions League final, of course, is, is on tonight. But without Celtic, you know, it's, it's a weird, weird one. Um, hopefully the summer sort of flies in. I do want to enjoy my summer. I do want to... I do want to um, have fun, but yeah. Uh, is it true that you're 22, asked the Dalmatian? Yes, that is true. I am 22. I was born in the year 2000. Um, a lot of people, I always get mixed sort of reactions to saying that I'm 22. You're either getting ID'd for buying a packet of fags in the shop, or you're getting questioned on YouTube. I thought you were older than that. No, nope, I'm I'm 22. Um, but nice to see. And the Women's Cup final is tomorrow. That's right, John. Good observation. Thank you very much for reminding me. Um, but it is. It's the second. What's everybody up to? Saturdays. We, we, we do got any interest in plans. Over 100 people in right now, by the way. Thank you very much. I won't talk shite for too long. I just like to be nice when opening up the opening up the stream. I've got some F1 on today. The qualifying for the Monaco Grand Prix starts at 3. I'll be looking forward to that. And that's kind of filling the void for me, if you like. You know, we're the kind of... Missing Celtic, but the F1's been there the last two weeks. We had the Barcelona Grand Prix last week. We have the Monaco Grand Prix this week. I'm not looking forward to next Saturday because there's nothing. Um, but I'm sure we will survive. Nice to see Chef Ty in the chat. Nice to see you, mate. Darn, Matthew. Um, oh, there's Alex in the chat. Hello, legend. Nice to see you. Um, Kenobi was incredible, Craig. I thought it was brilliant. An opening, uh, a couple of opening episodes there that were fantastic. I actually watched them twice yesterday. Um, I've been waiting years. Uh, I've just had rolls myself, Jack. I had a rolling links. A vegan links, actually. I don't know about... I'm talking absolute nonsense. I not even spoke about Celtic, really. And we'll get on to that in a moment. But I ha I recently, I've had a right hanking for vegan Richmond so Richmond's vegan sausages. They're lovely. I'm not a vegan. Um, I'm not a vegan or a, or a vegetarian or anything like that. But for some reason recently, I've been really enjoying the vegan... You should try them, honestly. They're fucking brilliant. Um, shove them in the air fryer for 10 minutes, shove them in a roll with some tomato sauce, fantastic, brilliant, anyway, right, let's, let's not talk so much, let's not talk so much rubbish, um, they are the GOAT, they're just tremendous, let's, you know, let's start off with this Champions League final today, I know it's not strictly talking about Celtic, but it's a good, it's a good question considering it is the, the biggest game in world football, the Champions League final, of course, I wish Celtic were there, but, um, maybe one day we can dream, um, we can maybe repeat the, the likes of 1967 um, one day in my old age, but I very much hold reservations to that right now. For tonight, what am I wearing right now, you may ask? Well, there you go. <laughs> Says it all. I'm not a Real Madrid fan. No, but my God, no, I'm not at all. I just got this top a few years ago because I really liked the shirt, and uh, I was a big Ronaldo fan, and I thought I'd get myself the shirt. Um, even though we will not talk about Ronaldo since then, things have happened and different things um but you know like, i thought i'd get the top at the time but i hate liverpool i despise liverpool so i'm channeling i am manifesting i am going down every possible route to try and encourage a real madrid victory tonight uh, i'll be singing hala madrid at the top of my voice uh yamo mas is that what it is yamo mas something like that um for carlos Sainz, come on carlos do it for real um even though my max for stopping man um but my predictions in general i think that I have a feeling Real Madrid will actually win it. Uh, because I think Liverpool are the better team. I think they're the favourites. But 
it's just like Real Madrid playing in these Champions League finals always feels like a foregone conclusion. They know how to win it. They've won it, what, 13 times um, over the course of their history. These are the biggest games in their in their calendar. They, they live for this trophy. And I love that. I love that they put such an importance on the European Cup um, because I feel like English teams don't. They don't put as much importance in, in what the, the European Cup means. And I'm not saying that about Liverpool fans because they'll be taking this game extremely seriously tonight. They'll be taking it really, really, really seriously. But I just think Real Madrid know how to do it and I'm going to go for a 2-1 Real Madrid win tonight. I think it'll be a tight game. Um, but yeah, okay, that's my that's my prediction. So let's let's talk about Celtic. And to, I'm seeing a lot of people in the chat and give a fuck your Liverpool. I hate Liverpool. 173 viewers. Get your questions in. We'll do a wee q and I've still got a wee bit of tea to finish. So I'm going to just quickly have a wee... Have a wee drink on that. Cheers. Um, the Moussa Dembele top is going to be back very soon. It's currently getting framed. So that's going to be over there, hopefully, in the coming days or weeks. Um, so I guess the first big thing to talk about with Celtic today and, and over the course of this stream is, is Jota and Cameron Carter-Vickers. Um, those two were still waiting on an update in, in regards to the situation, whether they're signing permanently or not. Um, of course, the rumours at the start of the week were very, very promising, and I'm very excited. Um, and I think it is just a matter of time now before we hear the, the kind of final word that they will indeed sign for the club. I'm hoping that's the case anyway. I don't think that there's anything really, and I don't want to jinx it, touch wood, you know what Celtic are like, touch wood, I, I don't think that there's anything necessarily going to stand in the way between those two signing um, for Celtic. I don't think there's anything that's going to suddenly give them a change of mind. It apparently has been reported that Carl Vickers has been advised to join Celtic. Jota uh, has been told he's got no future at Benfica as well. These are all reports, but those are the reports coming from both camps. To me, it seems like there's nothing really standing in the way now between them and a permanent move to the club. So we're, we're currently just waiting and seeing. I would, I'd love the week to start on Monday with a double announcement of both players. I don't know if maybe... I don't know. That's one thing I was wondering. And let me know your opinions. And I'll, I'll bring up your questions in relation to the situation in a moment. But... Um, what was your thoughts? Do you think that Celtic will announce them individually, or do you think that they will, you know, do you think they'll wait for a, a kind of double announcement? Do you think, you know, we might say, say for talking sakes, hypothetically speaking, we might sign Jota, we might sign him, but maybe Carter Vickers will be a day or two away um, from, from you know, signing all the paperwork and getting it done and over the line. Do you think then Celtic would keep it hush-hush under the wraps for a double sort of announcement, or do you think they would just come out and say, okay, we'll sign Jota, then two days later, bang, they come out with the other, because I have a feeling they'll wait and they'll do it as a double, I think they'll do it as a pair, I need double vodka lemonade, you know what I mean, I think that they'll, they'll wait and, and give us all the news in the one day, I'm seeing a couple of opinions come through, um, AMH says double, Ali O, is that Ali A's brother, um, he says has to be a pair, DM McDonald, they'll announce them individually I reckon, I don't think there's anything stopping them from doing it either way, but I would like, yeah, I would love, this is what I was kind of thinking as well, zombie strike saying, <coughs> Pardon me, Christ. <laughs> it's a bit of a coffin fit live on YouTube. Hope they announce both wearing the new kit. That would be the perfect way to, to, to kind of um, to announce it, in my opinion, get the new home top on them, announce them out at Celtic Park, give us all the news in the, the one day. That would be fantastic. So it's just a, it's just food for thought, whether you not think that it'll be announced as a pair or not. But we're still waiting. That's pretty much the only... There's the camera away already. There's still pretty much nothing else that's been said in relation to an update on news, an update on the situation. It is still very much at the same point of, okay, everything is agreed in principle. It's a matter of Celtic striking the final sort of um, finishing touches to it, you know, and getting the contracts and such over the line. So we're still awaiting that news. I'm looking forward to hearing that news when it comes. But yeah, just, just food for thought. Still don't trust the board. Now, this is one thing that Cassius Clay, Muhammad Ali has brought up here, um, about the board and, 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 and the lack of trust in the board. I am very much on a, on side with that. I still think that if anything is going to go wrong in regards to these two signing for Celtic on a permanent basis, it's going to come from something disastrous at the higher-ups and the hierarchy of the club, um, which is worrying. I, I don't trust them, but I just feel, and I don't want to jinx anything, I don't want to say it's done, it's dusted, and... I have, I'm not going to pretend I'm in the know and I'm not going to pretend I have sources telling me news that isn't already out there because I'm not in the know. I'm not, uh, not at this moment in time. But it just seems like from all the reports that we've had right now, it seems like it should go through relatively stress-free, relatively seamless. I think it looks as though it's a done thing, um, which is good. But then again... Eddie Howe was a done thing. Now, I know a managerial contract and a player's contract is different 
especially because those two have already spent a year with the club whereas Eddie Howe never spent any time with the club but you know that happened you know we all the, we, we allowed the media to kind of pull the wool over our eyes and, and, and fool us into thinking that Eddie Howe was a done deal and it was going to happen and then suddenly it went tits up because something went wrong at the bo- and within the, the, the boardroom and contracts and talks and whatever side of it was on it just went wrong it easily could now with either of these two players so I do understand the apprehension towards the board I, I really do um, however I just feel like with this one it'll be done I think we'll get it I think we'll see these two players sign for Celtic in the, week, in the next week or so um, it would be perfect if they do, um, it would be a really good way to start off the season. We then turn our focus on to signing new players and, and improving the depth in our squad. We've spoke about that all week on this channel, but you know, we we, we, we just look to improving. Uh, and after we sign those two, we've really got a good sort of pedestal to do it from. So yeah, that's that's basically the only real sort of news to discuss. So this is why I wanted to open the floor and, and, and make this a sort of Q&A stream today. We're 10 minutes in. On this fine Saturday, it's actually quite nice outside as well. Uh, good for a Champions League final. So I'm, I'm going to open the floor, and we're just going to have some conversation with the with the chat because why not? Um, I'm also going to upgrade this software so that you can see me in much better definition because it only lets me go to 720. I want it to be 1080. I want it to be the best quality, but I need to pay more money. So um, yeah, support this full time YouTuber. <laughs> right, let, let's jump into some questions uh, and let's just have a bit of a laugh of today's stream. It can be in relation to anything. Uh, honestly, Celtic, Jota, Vickers, Ange, F1, it can be anything. Absolutely anything. Feel free to get your questions in. Because there's a question that's not really Celtic related, but it, it, it obviously involves us. Ryan, do you know if it's five subs against this Kenny Mikado? From my understanding, they are keeping the five subs. From what I know to this moment in time. I don't think there's actually been confirmation as to whether or not it will remain as five or return to three. But I think the murmurs are suggesting that it's going to be remaining as five. Um, that's from what my understanding right now. I think it was backed or something. I'm not sure. I remember hearing that anyway. But once again, I'm not in the know. I, I, I couldn't confirm it. Right now, I think it is going to stay as five subs, which I think is very beneficial for Celtic. I'm sure we spoke about this on the podcast a couple of weeks ago. And I was very against the five subs rule I, I i like the traditional three subs and i've always been a sort of traditionalist when it comes to football rules and stuff like that but like i think that we've seen over the course of this season how important five subs was for celtic so i hope it does remain as five subs and it's not even like it's just important now it means a lot for many different reasons. It allows players to get minutes. It allows us to experiment with the squad. It allows to, us to get everybody having a fair shot in the team. So I think for many reasons, um, the five subs thing is a good thing to stay right. We'll, we'll try and ch- catch up on some questions. Um, because there's a, there's a lot. I'm going to skip through a, a, a kind of section of the comments there. So if you really want something answered, feel free to keep putting your question in until it is answered if I choose to answer it. But I'm just going to skip down the page a little bit just now, so I am ba- bypassing a lot of questions. Would you introduce any sort of channel member system as your full time now? I've considered it, James. I've considered it, but I'll wait and see how things go. Um, I, if I can offer something that is worthy of people paying for, willingly paying for, I would do it. But right now, I don't know what I'd do to, to kind of justify a channel member system. So maybe one day we'll see. Yes, I do. I do prefer Manchester United. That's right. Yes. Dream signing, says Donny Tiny Hands. Dream signing. Now, dream signing would suggest to me like the restrictions are off and you could go for anybody you like. Because if that was the case, I'd be singing, I would be saying, you know, bring fucking Erling Haaland into Celtic. But I mean, if it's being, if we're keeping in the lines of reality, do you know what? This isn't realistic at all, but I still would love John McGinn to play for Celtic. You know me. If you've watched this, watched this channel long enough, John McGinn is the one guy. I know I, we've all kind of moved on from that, and now John McGinn is making his case for being a £40, £50 million pounds player. He's never going to play for Celtic at this stage of his career now. You know, he could play for the Manchester United, in my opinion. Um, but he's still a dream signing for me. He was back when he played for Hibs, and he still is now. Um, yeah. Uh, when am I starting up the other channel? Hopefully next week. I'm going to try and sort out what content I want to... I'm keeping things a bit hush-hush just now. There's going to be a surprise of a series, hopefully, coming 
when I have the time to record that. I'm just still getting things finished up in here. We're not quite fully done yet. The Wi-Fi needs sorted a little bit and then, then I'm good to go. If you've been wondering where it is, why there's been a delay, that's the reason. Still just getting some stuff finished. The finishing touches, if you like, up in this, the studio. Um, are you worried Ange could go to England? Says uh, Carol Jan, or Carol Jan. Um, not right now. Not at this moment in time. Give it another year of success at Celtic and then I will be certainly worried that we will have to fight off um, stiff opposition um, for, for Ange Postecoglou. Then I'll start to worry. Right now, I think we're fine. But, you know, if he keeps winning, he keeps playing the football we're playing and he keeps, you know, ultimately just doing what he's doing, um, there's no doubt about it that English sides will come in and that's when Celtic have to act. And that's why we need to act up and give him a contract. We need to give him a long contract so that if he does decide to move on, you know, we, we, we get the, you know, the money that we deserve. We get the compensation we deserve, like we did with Brendan Rodgers. Now, I don't think Ange would do that. I don't think he'd jump ship mid-season. He could, I suppose. There's nothing saying that he wouldn't. But um, I don't think it's a conversation we need to worry about right now, is what, is what I'm saying. Yes, good congratulations to Greg Taylor on his, his engagement. I've seen that on Instagram this morning. I've also seen Christopher Iyer and Ryan Christie and all the rest of it greeting about it. Um, fantastic. Um, five subs in England and Europe confirmed. Don't know if it's happening in Scotland though, says DM McDonald. There you go. I think it will continue in Scotland. I, I, I think that's the, the, the kind of rumours, um, to be honest. Do you like SpongeBob SquarePants? I don't know if you know me, if this is like a pal winding me up, but yes, I do. I, I do love a wee bit of SpongeBob, to be fair. Um, what's this? Do you agree our supporters that say they support Liverpool equally are the worst part of their club? And congratulations to wee Greg. Shane with a very interesting question there, because I know there's a few people in the chat who have already kind of brought up Liverpool tonight and saying that they're supporting Liverpool in tonight's game. And I've also got a couple of friends who support Liverpool. Uh, not support Liverpool, but like Liverpool. I, I, I don't know if I'd say they're the worst part of our club, but I, I've always questioned the, the sort of romanticising people do of Liverpool. I, I don't look at Liverpool as a club who are the same as Celtic. I don't know if it's just that you'll never walk alone. or They're nothing like Celtic. I like Scousers, and I love the city of Liverpool. It's genuinely one of my favourite, apart from Glasgow, probably my favourite city on earth, actually. But I'm, I, I, I much think, I think Everton's the people's club. I think Everton is the one that we share a lot of the same ideologies and a lot of the same characteristics as. They are the Irish club in Liverpool. Um, Liverpool Football Club was founded by a Conservative, if I believe so, and... Um, I don't know. I just I'm not a I'm not I'm I'm not a big fan of Liverpool. I'm not. I've never been and never will be. So I hope they get pumped tonight. Um, didn't expect to answer that question. What do you think about VR being used? Well, you know me. If you've I've, I've updated you several times in the VR situation, my opinions in the VR situation, and everything in between. I am I'm not a VR man myself, not at all. But we'll see how it works next year. Maybe my opinions will change. I have a feeling it's going to be an absolute disaster. Um, used in this country. I think it's going to be awful. Awful. I'm not going to lie. Um, what about Battle Lenny getting sent to the stands in Cyprus? Didn't take him long. It didn't take him long, did it? Battle Lenny. Um, offer me a square goal, which is fair enough. I'm not going to back down. Um, yeah, not surprised. Cup final. The, the, you know, the cup final. The, the emotions run riot, don't they? You know, they, they take over you. Um, very, oh. Would you like an asset? Which better call Soul character? Would you like a Celtic shot? Mike. Obviously, Mike, Mike Ehrmantraut, the one of the greatest characters in television history. Um, maybe my favourite character in television history, actually, Mike Ehrmantraut, so it has to be him. Um, do you think Ryan Mai would succeed at Celtic if you were to join, says your Ma, a lovely name. Um, yeah, I don't see why not. He has a fantastic record. We spoke about him on the video the other day about his, his, his kind of abilities right now and his season that he's just had with Ferenc Varos over in Hungary. And he's been brilliant. He's been absolutely stupendous. Um, and there's nothing wrong with Celtic adding in that quality to the likes of uh, to join the likes of Jackie Marcus and and, and um, Kyogo Furuhashi. So yeah, I think he could be a success. Um, no reason whatsoever why he couldn't be. I think he would be one that would be relatively cheap to pick up coming from Ferenc Faros, But we'll wait and see. Wizard Mortal, should we look for a new goalkeeper to replace Joe Hart? No. Ideal Champions League group. Um, I think I said off the top of my head, mine's would be Porto, Chelsea, and no, Frankfurt, Chelsea, and I can't remember who I said from Pot 3, whoever the worst team in Pot 3 is, I can't really think. 
I think it would maybe Salzburg. They're not a bad team. None of these teams are bad. That's the thing. There's no such thing as an I, 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 an easy Champions League group. Of course, an ideal Champions League group. Of course, there's ideal groups. But for me, I think that was the one that I would say. Thank you, Angelica. That's very nice of you. God bless Denmark. Um, lovely country. Never been. Never been. But it looks lovely. And I'd love to go, hopefully, visit Copenhagen or something sometime soon. Um, Mo Salah hat trick tonight. Not at all. Not not at all. Uh, you know, getting a drink tonight. I am not. Not, I'm not that I'm aware of, Alex. We're going, so my plans for this evening is to watch the Champions League final with a few of my mates, uh, one of my mates' houses, but I don't know if I'll drink yet. I'm, I'm not really feeling it. I went out on Thursday night, celebrated passing third year of uni, might have ripped it a little bit, spent yesterday in bed hungover. So I, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm fancying just a, a, wee, a wee kind of period off it. I'm going to skip down again. Um, I'm going to skip down again, and if you've missed your questions... Feel free to just keep putting them in because I'm I'm losing the chat. I am losing the chat. But we've got great. Thank you very much for the support so far, by the way. 263 live viewers. If you haven't already, please make sure to hit the like button below. It'd be very much appreciated. And of course, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, that'd be very handy. Um, let's see. So I'm giving you £20 million tomorrow, Ryan. You have 10 days to spend on players. Who are you going for? It's a very good question from Werner Ziegler. Very good question, but do you know what? Those questions are like ones that I'd need to sit down. I couldn't answer it on the spot because we've been linked with players. I like the looks. Uh, I like the look of um, Harwood Bellis from Manchester City. I think that would take a sizable fee, and I don't know if we'd exactly pay it if we're getting Carter Vickers in anyway. So I, I like the look of him, for example. But I need to actually sit there. It's maybe a good idea for a video because I need to sit down and do my scouting and decide who, because there's just no one off the top of my head that's affordable to bring in, a, you know, enough players, so, um, John McGinn, there's your answer, uh, maybe so, um, go and help, go and help Davey out, one away from 300, um, I, I can't subscribe right now, Davey, so hopefully someone will do it for you, because I can't click off the stream, but, um, there you go, uh, let's see, do, 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 do. any group in the Champions League will be a riot, says Joe, I'm not very optimistic, Joe, come on, get your spirits up, man, Shakhtar Donetsk, I'm not going to lie, I, I don't really want us to travel over to Ukraine at the moment. Not to be funny about it, just genuinely. It wouldn't be an away day for myself, put it that way. Um, I, uh, I keep forgetting how you actually pronounce it, is, is it Giza? Giza, I think. Or Ikatur are more possible, yeah, I agree, I think they are more possible. Uh, room tour, there's not much, you, you see everything there is, basically, it's just my setup that's here, my PC and my camera and the lights and such, uh, and no, I do not watch the flash. Um, you're going to the Admiral, what is the Admiral? It sounds very staunch, the Admiral, Alex, must admit, but if, I'm, if I end up out, I'll keep that in mind. Um, it would be nice to see you. So, there we go. A nice invitation. Thank you very much. Um, well done in passing uni. Thank you very much. What position do we need to strengthen the most? I've done my video the other day on three areas. Left back it is, isn't it? Left back is the area we need to strengthen. Because even beyond Greg Taylor, we, we, we have nothing. Um, we have absolutely nothing. So, um, <clears throat> yeah. Is it not a neutral venue? I think it actually might be for the next. Right enough, Josh, you could be right. But then again, I just, I'd like to avoid all risks. You know, uh, I'd like to avoid all risks. Because it certainly won't be in the, the Donbass uh, arena. It won't be in there. Not a chance. Not a chance. <laughs> I think that thing is almost rubble at this point, to be quite honest with you. Not a laughing matter, but just genuinely serious conversation. Um, I think it actually could be rubble. Uh, close to it. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Ah, good question. I like this. And he said, don't mind, you know, if you don't want to answer, just skip by it. But I don't mind these questions. It's good to, I like, one thing that I've always had on this channel is I think I've always had a lot of transparency between me and the viewers. And I've always been myself and I've always kept you updated and blah, blah, blah. You know, I, I like to be nice. And uh, are you getting on okay yourself? Am I as opposed to Tesco? Are you trying to be focused on YouTube? I'm getting on fine. It's, it's a weird adjustment. I will, I will be honest. It's weird. Because I work Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday nights. That was the nights I worked. So it's weird now having those nights back to myself. You, you, you sometimes get a little bit bored. Because I haven't started streaming yet, obviously, or anything like that. So sometimes you get a bit bored. You're like, my God, I should be working right now. But then again, the freedom that it's gave me and the, the way I've been able to chill recently has been great. Uh, and I've loved having the little... Str I've really enjoyed, if you've watched my videos over the past week or so, I've been putting in a lot more effort with editing. I just couldn't do that when I lived in the flat and I was doing work at Tesco. I couldn't. And I'm loving that. I'm loving the focus it's given me on doing things like that. And hopefully it's just going to get better over time. But I'm coping well. Thank you. It's a very considerate question. Um, I enjoyed that. 
I enjoyed that. <clears throat> Let's see, how long have we got left? About five minutes. So I'll try and fi fire in as many questions as possible. Let's see. Um, a lot of questions about what players I would sign. I honestly... I would need I, I, just before I, I click on any of them. I would need time to sit down and see. It's we support a club like Celtic, where it's not as easy just to go sign him, because you can't do that at Celtic. Look, listen, if we're sitting here talking about Manchester United, I'd be sitting saying, okay, sign Timber, sign Haaland, sign. Well, I know Haaland's away to City, but you know, I'd be saying sign all these because I've got basically an unlimited transfer budget with the realistic pull factor of, of any player they want. Um, whereas with Celtic, it's not as easy. We have to scour and we have to look in different leagues. So it's always hard to answer them on the spot, um, those sort of questions like, who would I sign if I had this much money? Or who's the one player you would sign? Because nobody in Scotland right now, for example, who I think we should sign. The last player I can remember in Scotland thinking we should really try and sign was John McGinn. I know I said that I would like the Nisbet and there was a point where I'd like Doig, uh, Doig. But never to the extent where I'm like, oh, we need to sign them. John McGinn was the last guy I was like that with, I'm sure. So, you know, it's, it's always it's always difficult. Boys down under, hello, I come from a land down under. For me, Jack and Marcus. Controversial, but I love Big Jack. He's my favourite outfield player, I think. Love him. And my favourite Celtic podcast to listen to, Davy, is the Celtic the Thunder. Coming back very soon. Apart from the Celtic the Thunder gig pod. I love gig pod. I love a lot of them. Four Tims is great. Gig Pod's great. They would be, they're my two kind of go-to ones, um, other than my own. <laughs> I don't listen to my own, to be fair. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Do you think we'll have more friendlies, asked Ryan Glenn, with the fact we've got no qualifiers? Potentially so. You might see an extended sort of... Remember last year, we were down in England, and we'd done the thing with Charlton and Sheffield Wednesday and or whoever it was, all these teams. And we might do something like that again. Preston, I think we played them, didn't we? We might do something like that. I don't know. But I'm not too fussed. Uh, as long as we go into the season prepared and we're fit and ready to go and defend the league title and go into the Champions League. Uh, free, this is I love these kind of questions. Saul Harvey, uh, he's asked, three away days you would want if you could pick a team from each pot, right? So these are the three that I'd go with off the top of my head. I'd want Milan. I'd want one of the Milan Cubs. I'm going to say AC Milan from pot one. Because the San Siro is, I think, now entering its last season as the stadium for the two sides before they move to the Catedral or the Cathedral. So the last season uh, in the San Siro would be great to experience the stadium and also just play. Go to a city like Milan. Milan's great. I've, I've only been in Milan for about 10 minutes. I landed in Milan Airport one time and then we drove through and that was us away. Um, so yeah, I'd say one of the Milan clubs. I'd love another trip to Germany, but something a bit different. I would maybe like Dortmund. For that and then obviously the Westfalen Stadion. Um, so I'd say Milan Dortmund and f for pot three, I'll try to think of who's in pot three again. Um, let me go and check who's in pot three very quickly about what a way day that I would like from pot three. I'm going to get up one of my, my old videos here. Let's 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 um let's share the screen very very quickly. Um, we'll go over here and we'll share the screen. And I think it was in this video here. If I remember rightly, I hope, for, hope there's nothing damning on my screen. Here we go. This was it there. So, oh wait, that's the wrong thing I pressed. So this is the pots, realistically, what we might see. And I've said Milan from pot one. I've said Dortmund from pot... Oh, Dortmund or pot three? Right, people are probably shouting me in the chat, maybe. I don't know. Pot three, I would go Dortmund. So pot two, I would like... Oh... I wouldn't even mind Leipzig and rather than Dortmund. But I'd want to see the best Valen Stadion so much because I obviously I like Dortmund. I, I would maybe go with... I would maybe go with AC Dortmund and then can't pick an Italian team, can't pick a German team. England's boring. So is it Barcelona, Madrid or Seville? One of the Spanish sides. I've been to Barcelona. So do you know what? I'd maybe see... I'd maybe go with Madrid. I'd maybe go with Madrid. I've never been to Madrid. Um, I know that Seville is probably a little bit more scenic in the sense that it's down nearer the ocean and such and it's down the south of the country really nice down there but i've never been to madrid and i don't and i'd like to see maybe the vincente calderon as well so there that's the three that i would go with if i was to pick my three ideal away days next season just for the, the away days only like nothing other than just it doesn't matter about the game itself just in general uh, where i was cities that i'd be going to i'd pick milan i'd pick madrid and i'd pick dortmund there you go. That is that is my free. There we go. Um, as we come to the end of the stream, we'll get a couple more questions in very quickly. 
With the rival played a handful of championship clubs or bigger clubs such as French and Spanish teams for them to test themselves. I don't mind. Um, whatever's more suitable for the club. I'll say the Spanish sides. I, I, you know, I, I don't think it. I honestly think friendlies mean fuck all. Do, does it testing your nothing? Does not mean anything? We've played big teams and friendlies. We've played shite teams and friendlies, and at the end of the day, it doesn't make a fucking difference when it comes to the league campaign. So I'm actually not too fussed, um, to be quite honest. Um, yes, of course, Seville and bring crates upon crates of water. That's right. We've got to keep ourselves hydrated if we head to Seville, of course. Um, thoughts on the potential Artur Boric testimonial versus Legia of Warsaw um, yeah Bar Boric I'd love to see Boric again I don't quite know if I fancy the idea of a Legia Warsaw testimonial but I love Artur Boric so <laughs> I, I don't think there's much to that to be fair I don't see oh there's the phone going very good um, and on that note I might just you know go with it there I think that that'll do us half an hour it's been good, about 300 viewers, the phone's going, so I better go and try and pick that up, um, see who's calling, but that'll do us, thank you, I've enjoyed that, it was a good wee chat, I might do these more often, let me know what you think, thank you for all your questions, sorry if I didn't get round to your questions, um, this will be available to watch back if you've tuned in late or whatever, but for me, for now, that'll, that'll about do it, so thank you very much, make sure to like and subscribe, and uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of